In the hydrate lab, we noticed in trial one, there was a one to 4.75 ratio for the CuSO4 to hydrate ratio, when it should be the expected one to five ratio. And that can be concluded because a student could have perceived a tinged blue um, white substance to be fully dehydrated when in fact it was not. Therefore, the CuSO4 mass, which is the dehydrated substance, would have been increased and therefore the amount when it is converted to moles would be increased. In order to calculate the mass and then the moles of water, you would need to get the overall mass of the substance of the hydrate and then you would need to subtract the CuSO4 mass from that, which is increased because the student perceived the tinged blue substance to be completely dehydrated when in fact was not. Therefore, the water mass would be decreased because more is being subtracted um, from the total. And therefore, when you convert it to moles, the moles is decreased. Then you set up your ratio of CuSO4 to H2O. Um, X represents the number of moles of CuSO4 and Y represents the number of moles of water. You divide by X and you get 1 because X divided by X um, is 1 and then Y which is the decreased amount of H2O that should be that is present is um, divided by the uh, X which is the number of moles of CuSO4 and it is a lower number which is Y 4.75 was concluded instead of 5.